In order to display your website or funnel that you've created on our platform onto the internet, you're gonna need what's called a domain name. A domain name is just what you type into your internet browser that takes you over to the site. So for example, the domain name for the Google search engine is www.google.com. Uh, the domain name for uh, Facebook, the social network, is www.facebook.com. So we need to purchase a domain name that's going to be where our website is housed. Now, you can purchase domain names from uh, various sellers that uh, offer domain names, such as GoDaddy.com, Namecheap.com. There's lots of them out there, and most all of them work the same way. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect a domain name from uh, a third-party system over to our site. Now, first, we need to go and navigate to the lower left-hand corner and click on Settings. That's going to take us over to our Settings page, and you'll click Domains. Now, this is where all of your domains are housed that are pointing to our platform. In my case, this is a demo account, so we need to add a new domain name in order to display a website. So we'll click Add New Domain. And it's going to bring up this little pop-up. Now, before we can actually add our domain into the system, we've got to go and navigate over to the third-party place that we purchased our domain name and change what's called the DNS records. This is what uh, points the domain over to our platform. Now, what we've got to do is to navigate to the third-party place that you purchased your domain name. So in this case, for this video, I'm gonna use Namecheap, uh, but you can purchase it from GoDaddy or whatever. Some of the instructions and the navigation menus may be a little bit different on your platform. Uh, if you have trouble, you can always reach out to the uh, domain provider and ask them how to add uh, DNS records on their system because uh, everyone is a little bit different with where the locations are for this. But you should have a section where you can click on your domains list and then you select the domain and you should have a section like advanced DNS or DNS records or something like that. Now, once you click that, what you're going to want to do is to add a new record. So you click add and we're going to add a CNAME record. Now, there's a couple of different variables that we need to add. So if we navigate over to here, it says that we need to have a CNAME record pointing to this website right here, flash.funnels.messagesender.com. So we're going to cut and copy this text. And we're going to navigate back over to our site. And under the host section, we're going to type in www. In the values section, we're going to type in flash.funnels.msgsndr.com. There's no E or the uh, in that message sender text there. Now, once you've got it inputted, you're going to click the Save Changes button. And that should add a CNAME record that's pointing to www dot whatever your website was dot com. Once you've got this inputted in, now it's time to add it to the platform. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy our domain name and we're going to jump back over to the platform and we're going to type it into this box right here. Now, if you're cut and copying a domain name, make sure that there's no spaces at the end. Uh, notice right here that I have a little space. We're going to delete that out and just make sure that there's no extra spaces. At the beginning of the domain, we're going to type in www if it's not already there. And now we've got our website typed in. We're going to click the add button. This should give us a success. Yep. Yay. Domain has been added successfully. And then next, you're going to hit this little drop down box and select which funnel corresponds with that domain step or the first page of the website. Once you've done that, click link domain, and now the website will be added into the system.